about the activation functions and how it can be written using Python code. So the first activation function that we are going to see here is binary step function def define binary underscore step x if x is less than 0 return 0 else return 1. So let me execute this code now. Yes, the code is executed. Now in case if I want to give binary underscore step 10, so what should be the output over here? Let me check here. Here the x value is greater than 0. So if it is greater than 0, it should return value as 1. Right? So let me see that. Yes, we are right. And if it is less than 0, it should return as 0. So I am writing a number minus 7 and yes, it's returning me the output as 0, right? So this is what uh, about uh, binary step function. This is being done for binary classification. If it is negative value, the output will be 0. If it is positive, then the output will be equal to 1. Now let us discuss about linear function. Define linear underscore function of x and I'm writing a function uh, f of x as 3 into x. So linear underscore function 8. So it should return me the answer as 3 into 8 as 24. Yes, I am right. If I substitute minus 8, I'll be getting it as minus 24. So in case if you change it into 7x, and if you execute this, sorry, if I run this code and then if I execute this, I'm getting 56 and here it is minus 56. Now let us understand sigmoid function. For this, I'm importing numpy. Import numpy as np. Define sigmoid underscore function of x. z equal to 1 by 1 plus e power minus x is the sigmoid representation, right? So I'm writing 1 by 1 plus np dot exp of minus x and returning z now, right? So if I write sigmoid function for minus 2, the output is 0 0.1192. If I write it for plus 2, answer is 0 0.88079, right? The next one is tan h function. Define tan h function z is equal to 2 by 1 plus np dot exp minus 2x minus 1. So return z. So let me execute this code now. And tan h for 2.7 is 0 0.99100. And for 0 0.7 is uh, minus, sorry, 0 0.604. In case if I make it to minus, I'm getting answer as 0 0.60436, right? So now let us look about rectified linear unit. So define ReLU underscore function of x. If x is less than 0, return 0. Else, return x. So let us look the difference between binary step and this ReLU. In binary step, if it is less than 0, it returns 0. Otherwise, it will return 1. But in ReLU, if it is less than 0, it returns 0. Otherwise, it will return x. So when I write for minus 7, what should be the output? It is less than 0. So it should return me the output as 0. When I write 7, it is greater than 0. So that it is returning me the value of x. That is 7 here. Now the next one is leaky ReLU. Define leaky underscore ReLU function x. So here, what is the difference between ReLU and leaky ReLU? If, lex, if x is less than 0, return 0. But here it is written 0 0.01 into x. That is what we have seen, right? Otherwise, it will return x. Yes. Now, I am trying to find out leaky underscore ReLU underscore function for 9. Yes, it is greater than 0. So it is returning me output as 9. If I write it as minus 9, then I expect it to be 0 0.01 into yes, x. 
yes i am right then exponential linear unit define elu underscore function x comma a if x is less than 0 then it returns a into np dot exp of x minus 1 otherwise it will return x so if i write it for 5 comma 0 0.1 this 5 is x and a is 0 0.1 right if i write it for minus 5 this is what my output is now let us understand swish define swish underscore function of x return x by 1 minus np dot exponential of x and then if i write for minus 4 the output is 0 0.0746 and if i write it plus 4 i'm getting 4.074629 so basically it substitute in this function right now let us try to understand softmax which is the most important Define softmax underscore function x, z is equal to np dot exponential of x. And here I'm writing right z divided by z dot sum, return z. Hope you remember the uh, expression. We have seen that expression for softmax, right? So let me, let me recollect. Let me teach you that once again. e power zj divided by summation k is equal to 1 to k capital k and e power right zk right so this is what happens here so when i give values like 2 1 and 0 0.1 let me see what's happening here let me execute this code first and now when I execute this, I'm getting output as 0 0.659, which is nothing but uh, close to seven. And this is one, 0 0.2, and this is almost close to one. So if you add everything, you will be getting answer as one because we are getting the probabilities. Hope it is clear to you. Thank you. Thank you.